Hello everyone, this is Link Miss Prime, and today we're taking a look at the Godzilla Bandai Movie Monster series, Godzilla Earth. This figure looks very, very nice in my opinion. Um, although, I'm just gonna get it out of the way. My only gripe is that uh, he's, he's a little bit smushed. He's a little, he's a little squished, and I've tried trying to get him a little bit on, like, the flatter side, but unfortunately... <sighs> Yeah, uh, so he, he's a little bit too uh, skinny and a little bit too wide, which kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie, because the legs kind of bend in like this, and then when I try to bend them out, it kind of splits. The arms are also in too much, yeah, that's the only thing that really sucks about this, but everything else, I'm going to get into the positives. Um, the eyes are painted with uh, some blue, as you can see right there and right there, which looks very nice. We get some kind of like dr black, like dry brushing inside of like these crevices and stuff, which looks really, really good. The dorsal spines are painted with a very nice looking metallic blue. Always, always love that. Uh, the toenails and the fingernails are painted with that same metallic blue, maybe a little bit dark. Yeah, actually a little bit darker, uh, but that also looks really cool. And the rest of it is just kind of sparkly. Um, he, he's a very sparkly boy. Uh, one cool thing though is that majority of this paint that we get on the dorsal spines does continue on to at least almost the end of the tail, which is always appreciated. Uh, but this guy does look very, very nice, at least proportionately, uh, proportionately excuse me, in my eyes. Uh, the arms, when it comes to articulation, can move around all the way around like so on both sides, which is always appreciated. The legs can rotate uh, all the way around as well, I believe. Yeah, they can do that. They can rotate all the way around. Always, always love that. And we actually get a swivel in the tail, a very tight swivel, but a swivel nonetheless. So we do get five points total of articulation for this Godzilla. Um, could he have benefited from a head swivel? Maybe, but that would have broken up the sculpt. I'm fine with him not having one. But when it comes to articulation, pretty good for what it is. And for a quick size comparison, here we have next to the last Bandai Movie Monster series figure I reviewed, the Bandai Movie Monster series Mechagodzilla from Tokyo SOS, the Bandai Movie Monster series Godzilla 2000, and the Godzilla design that I am very positive that Godzilla Earth is based on, the 2019 Bandai Movie Monster series Godzilla. Overall, this figure's awesome. I absolutely love it. It's got a lot of nice paint, a lot of nice detail. It's got five points of articulation, which is very rare to see on a movie monster series figure. So that's always appreciated. That's always loved. I love when they do that. Um, I definitely recommend it. Uh, now, if you can get it for a good price, because I think I actually did get this for like 30 bucks, and I don't think that's entirely worth it. Um, get it, you know, if, if, you, if you're able to get it for 30 or less, go for it. It's worth it. Uh, but yeah, so anyways guys, that's pretty much about it for this review. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.